Hello, this is Nick with Albert Air Conditioning and today we are going to be looking at two Carrier Comfort Series heat pump condensers. So if you are thinking about replacing your gas furnace and AC condenser with an all-electric heat pump system, you'll want to watch this video. I have a lot of useful information about making that switch. So first, I'm going to go over the installation of these heat pump condensers, give you some of their specs, talk about their features, stuff like that. Then I'm gonna go over the differences of going with an all electric heat pump system compared to the traditional gas furnace AC condenser system that this customer had before. So as always, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about these carrier heat pumps or any other products, let me know in the comments section below. If you're in Orange County, California, I'd be happy to talk to you on the phone. You can reach me at 714-526-6368 or visit us at our website at www.albertair.com. So let's get right into these units. Um, we're looking at a four ton uh, Carrier Comfort Series heat pump condenser. This is a single stage. It is a model number 25SCA548A003. And then this is the same, but model, it's a two and a half ton, model number 25SCA5, um, 30A003. So they are both 14.3 SEER2 efficiency. They are single speed condensers, meaning that they will run at one speed, which is high speed, for both heating and for cooling. Uh, their sound rating for both the four ton and the two and a half ton is 76 decibels. We are in um, a side yard here where we have high walls, high walls, high walls, both of them are on right now. So we are gonna have a little more noise than normal. Um, we did place these units 24 inches away from each other. So they do have the clearance specs from the manufacturer. So they're not gonna be sucking in each other's air or anything like that. Uh, dimensions for the four ton is 31 by 31 by 35 inches tall. And this is also 31 by 31, but by 29 inches tall, they sit on a three inch plastic pad. We have your refrigerant lines down here, seven eighths for the four ton uh, by three eighths, and then we have three quarter by three eighths, and we put those in a UV line wrap. Um, we also have our disconnects mounted on the wall over here. Before these condensers, uh, the old condensers sat on top of each other, one on the bottom and then one on top. It's a very weird situation. So you can see some of the electrical work we had to do. We had to run the electrical around the back of these over here. We also had to run control wiring to these units. The old control wiring for the AC condensers, there was only three wire, it was not enough. These uh, heat pump condensers take more wires uh, to wire from the control board at the fan coil up to here. So we did have to run new control wiring for that. So if you are in the market for one of these, there are some differences with heat pump uh, condensers compared to AC condensers. Um, so let's go over some of those. I can let you know about that. Just so you know, I also made a video about the fan coils we match these with in the utility room downstairs in this house. So make sure you check out that video. I think that is also some useful information. Um, so these heat pumps um, are matched with also single speed fan coils. Um, and uh, prior to that uh, install of, of, the, of this system, they had gas furnace and evaporator coils with AC condensers. So going from there to an all electric system, there were a few minor differences that we ran into. And I'm gonna go over those differences so you can kind of understand what's going on. So first one is the main difference is that now they will be using electricity to heat their house instead of gas. So obviously a gas furnace comes on, heats your house, goes off. Now when the heat comes on, it's, it's electric. This heat pump condenser out here switches with a reversing valve and will do heating or will do cooling for AC. So when you are actually heating your house, this condenser is running outside. We are in heat mode right now, so the house is heating up. Um, so another thing is that the heat it, that is produced by a gas furnace is different than an all electric heat pump condenser. So natural gas does have a higher temperature output than the actual electric heat does. So you do need to remember to maintain the heat when you're running a heat pump system. So if you were to wake up 
very early in the morning, it's cold outside, cold in your house, you turn on gas heat, it can heat up fairly quickly. With a heat pump system, it might take a little longer. It will heat your house, but it will take a little longer. So we always ask customers to maintain heat. Another thing that people um, see that's a lot different than, than your other systems are that these will actually condensate when they do defrost mode. So sometimes people will walk out after a heating cycle and see a puddle of water underneath the unit. We have a drain right here, so the water or condensation runoff will run into that but there will be a little condensation after heating cycles during defrost mode. Obviously, if you're going in between modes, cool to heat, you will also see that condensation. Um, another thing people um, want to know about is cost. So do these cost more to heat your house than a gas furnace? Well, that will depend a lot on your gas furnace and the therms and the cost of that compared to the kilowatts per hour for your electricity bill and how much you run the heat. If you have solar, this has been a very popular item because the solar typically can cover the cost of electric heating. There are incentives for heat pumps right now, so some of those will offset the cost of installation as well as running these units. So, you know, it, it just depends on how much you run it, but they will have, you will have an electricity bill, um, whereas now your gas bill when you were heating is gone. So that is a benefit of that. Um, so let me know what you think about these, if this is something that you might be interested in. If you're thinking of going over to a heat pump system, uh, you know, there's a lot of concerns, a lot of questions. I'm happy to answer those. Hopefully I covered some of the big ones that people think about. Um, you know, another quick uh, note on these, heat pump condensers look just like AC condensers. They're not any bigger or any smaller. Um, efficiencies are, are pretty much the same as an AC condenser, they're rated with SEER values, um, but they also will have an HSPF value for their heating. Um, so make sure you check out my other video on the fan coils we did, and I appreciate everyone watching this channel. Uh, we have a lot of subscribers and a lot of great comments. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my page for more informational videos like this, and thank you for watching.